Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on how to create an APA bibliography from search results in PsycInfo. Much like the title of this video says, in this tutorial we will be demonstrating how to use the email function in your EBSCO account folder to create an APA bibliography from your PsycInfo search results. Now this tutorial assumes that you already have an EBSCO host account and are already familiar with the basic process of saving items to your account folder. If you aren't already familiar with these processes, Please review the saving search results in an EBSCO database tutorial before proceeding. Trust me, it'll make a lot more sense. Okay, so here we are in my EBSCO host account folder. There are a number of items I've got pulled in from a variety of searches, and I would like to create a list that includes each of these items' bibliographic information, preferably in APA format. Surprisingly, this is actually really easy to do from inside your folder. To start out with, Click on the Select slash Deselect All checkbox at the top of your folder results. Next, click on the Email button on the right-hand menu. This will open up an online form to allow you to email information from these search results to yourself. First, you're going to want to input your email address into the Email To field. You can add a subject and comments if you feel you need them, or you can leave these fields blank. On the right-hand column, you will notice checkboxes to include the HTML or PDF full text if available. This will attach the article full text to the email you send to yourself, provided we have access to that full text. Since we just want the bibliographic citations, however, uncheck these boxes. Below the two checkboxes are two drop-down fields in the right-hand column. The first one is marked Standard Field Format. In this drop-down menu, you choose the format of the information being sent to you. You can choose just a brief citation, a brief citation and abstract, or the detailed citation and abstract, which is the default setting. Since all we're interested in are the citations, select the brief citation option. In the second drop-down menu marked citation format, we're also going to want to change the default because for some bizarre reason, the default setting for citation styles is ABNT or Brazilian National Standards, which I'm pretty sure no program here on campus uses as its citation style of choice. So click on this drop down and select the option for APA citation. Once you've made your selections and inputted your email address, click the button marked send. You should receive one or more emails with the citations of each of the items you requested formatted in APA citation. Now one quick word of warning about the citations generated by PsycInfo, or any other database for that matter. While it's convenient to have the database create citations for you, realize that the database basically does this off of an algorithm. And if there's bad data anywhere along the line, the citation will be formatted incorrectly. So, if you're going to use these citations in an assignment you expect to be graded, take a moment to review them against the Purdue OWL or the APA Style Guide to ensure that they are formatted correctly. The cost of getting downgraded on citations outweighs the benefit of quick and easy citations from the database. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have questions about using tools in PsycInfo or in any of our databases, please contact us. You can get research assistance by clicking on the 24-7 chat widget on the library homepage or email us at researchhelp, one word, at cpp.edu.